My phone alarm went off, which is kind of embarrassing, but I have mixed feelings on the subject. Yeah, because you got the choice to go in person like Carly is right now, or you could do online. So, hi everyone. I clearly just woke up. My eyes are like super puffy right now so i need to put some stuff on my eyes so they kind of get less puffy right and so today obviously is the first day of school i have about 35 minutes to get ready and then i'm leaving so basically all i'm gonna do is my makeup which all i'm gonna do is wear concealer and mascara because i don't really want to wear that much makeup and I'm so tired right now because you never get to sleep on the first day of school. And I got waking up a lot in the middle of the night, so I'm extra tired, but it's whatever. I'll wake up here pretty soon, so I just need to start getting ready so I can kind of start waking up. And then I need to brush my hair, obviously, too, because it looks crazy. But so I'm going to do my makeup and then I'll get back to you. So I'm all ready and honestly, I need to hurry up because I was supposed to leave five minutes ago already and this is already getting really hard. I need to wake up earlier every morning apparently, but I have like a lot of extra time because I'm going to get like Tim Hortons. So I mean like I'm not in like a rush rush, but still I like planned to get out of here by a certain time. But here's my outfit. I'll show you it a little bit more when I get home because when I get home, I'm going to be doing a lot more filming and talking about how school went and stuff like that. So I'm like super tired right now. So I will talk to you guys after school. This is literally horrible. I can't believe I'm going to school right now. But yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get home, I guess. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Our Family Nest. So this is what it looks like outside today. We got lots of snow. Dogs are loving it. So, hey guys, it's Chase. Today is the first day of school. Our second semester. Well, yeah, not the first day of school. First day of school was a while ago. Well, this is what school looks like for us. Again. Yeah, we're doing online on a different platform called Edgenuity. It's pretty easy. So we were using Schoology, which the entire school was using that, and they're still using that in school. Yeah, because you got the choice to go in person, like Carly is right now, and or you could do online all year, which is what me and Chase are doing, and you're able to get ahead in everything with this platform. And so we chose to do this instead of going in person. I'm in English, obviously. I have civics. I have mental health and wellness. And I have, um, what's the other one? Well, I'm in astronomy, astronomy but then I have Health and what's one? Healthy living. So I have yeah. mental health and wellness and healthy living. Well, everyone at our school is like, don't do, don't the do virtual. Don't thing. do virtual. It's so hard, but we're it's doing not. it right now. And it's I mean, so it's kind of early, but it's, it's so really easy. easy. Well, she's already 10% done with one of her classes. Yeah. And it's the first day. And my sister did it, and it was really easy for her, too. Like, she you did could it probably finish in like a month if you really tried. Probably even, even quicker faster. than that. Probably With like your electives, it would be really easy. Yeah. But I did um, personal finance, civics, English, which is like the three classes that you have to take. And then for my electives, I did astronomy, mental health and wellness, and early childhood education. So I'm pretty happy with this decision. I feel like some people would say it's hard if they actually have hard classes, but we don't really have that much hard classes. Like if you're in an AP class or something, that's probably hard, but for us, it's not that hard. Yeah, like we're taking pretty easy classes, so it's like not gonna be hard at all, honestly. Yeah. I'm taking a quiz right now too. Uh. Oh yeah, and we just ate some I ate lunch, some noodles. And I had some um, oats oatmeal it was really good and we're just doing this now and we've been we kind of been doing it but i've just been doing it and getting ahead 
and it's really easy so let us know if you guys have any of the or you guys are using this platform if you're doing online school because i know a lot of people were or if you're back at school like carly is she's doing in person and they wear masks and everything like that and i know the majority of the kids at our school did that but we kind of just didn't really want to so yep that's what's up peace <laughs> I look like a peach. What? Like Toby, what's up? Look at the table berries. He's so oh. good together. Look at She's you. So cold. Aww. Get the hair dryer. They're like some stuff. Yeah. I know, baby. Kind of, kind of like pick them off a little bit. It's hard. Once you, you get them hot, they'll fall. Do you want to try it? Oh my god, look. <laughs> Bean's Mom. like, oh. So everyone, I got home just now. I'm so tired and I can't, oops. And I can't take a nap because I have dance in two hours. But I think I might take a bath because I'm so dang tired. And after school, I got some Chick-fil-A. Of course, I love Chick-fil-A, so yeah, I got some Chick-fil-A, I got a salad, and of course Diet Coke, I am CEO of Diet Coke, if you didn't know, and so to talk about school, my first hour, it was fine, kind of boring, but the okay, the entire day was boring, there wasn't a class that wasn't boring, and it's because we're not doing anything, and usually in the beginning of the year, I like hate all of my classes, because they're boring, and nothing interesting has happened yet and nothing has made me like it so then my second hour didn't really do much either my third hour my phone alarm went off which is kind of embarrassing but at the same time i don't really care and then my fourth hour was just there i don't even know my sixth hour was semi-interesting I wasn't bored out of my mind and then my seventh hour went by kind of fast so overall it was not that horrible of a day it could have been worse but it was just so boring and I really hope every day isn't like that and hopefully we can start doing actual work which I sound annoying for complaining that I'm not doing any work, but I much rather sit there and do busy work than sit there and not do anything at all. Because sitting there and not doing anything is super boring, believe it or not. I'm kind of glad I did in-person school because it's like, I don't know, I think it's better for me and like college and grades and stuff like that versus the other online school. I just feel like it was the better option to do online, so that's why I did it, but I came home, I still have my little sweater and tank top thing on, but I put on some pajama shorts because I was wearing jeans and they were so uncomfortable and I just literally can't wait to go to bed tonight. Um, I have this little pretest for math that I have to do. There's only like 19 questions, so I'm just literally gonna do that in like two minutes. And then my chair got here, so I'm gonna put that together. Then I'm gonna take a bath and then get ready for dance. And then, yeah, I should be set for the rest of the day. But my hair, I think, looked pretty nice today. I didn't even do anything to it. I just like to spray dry shampoo and then brush it back. So it kind of like does that. And then it just looks like this. Oh my god. My hair looks like noodles. It wasn't bad. Um, hopefully tomorrow is a little bit more interesting. I'll have to update you guys on how that goes. And I'll also show you my book bag here pretty soon because I did get a new one. And I'm kind of glad because all of my teachers aren't really requiring me to have like stuff like usually in spanish i have to have like a binder and stuff like that and my teacher said it was optional which is like thank god because i hate carrying that stuff around it sucks i have like three things in my book bag so that's it i got my workout in today and still have my workout clothes on never even showered or um really got ready for the day so 
just eating some cheese right now. I've been literally in my office all day just trying to get stuff done. A lot of stuff done on my to-do list though. So that feels good. Only have a couple more things to do that really don't need to be done today. So it's 7.30. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get showered and watch The Bachelor for the night. But just wanted to pop in and give you guys kind of my like thoughts on the whole school thing since that's what today's video is about first day back to school i have i have mixed feelings on the subject so it kind of was i don't know perfect situation that one of my kids decided to go back to school and one decided to stay home um i'm kind of in the place and in the mindset that it's time for things to start to go back to normal I think it's crazy how there are certain parts of our country, the states are open, there's hardly any restrictions, they're wearing masks, but even that seems optional. And then you have other states, like here in Michigan, restaurants are still closed, you can only do takeout, schools were still closed, slowly opening back up, elementary kids junior high kids and then high school kids, uh, the junior high and high school were able to choose if they wanted to go back to the classroom, kind of have a normal second half of the school year because we just started semester two, or stay at home and it would be a little bit different. It wouldn't be the same virtual online learning with your normal school teachers it would be the school's like virtual academy that they've had for years that they use this online program. It's teachers, I don't even know where they're at, somewhere else in the country. You work at your own pace. You have the day you sign in on February 1st, today, you get your assignments for the whole entire quarter. And if you had a class, like I know Chase and Asher are both taking personal finance, you could literally go on work super fast as hard as you want and finish with your personal finance class in like two months instead of waiting and finishing it the end of may beginning of june so it's weird to me because i feel like when you have these like virtual classes you're just watching videos you're getting instructions strictly through the computer you're reading a lot doing a lot of busy work are kids really learning anything? But my kids swear, and I truly can't think back this far, my kids swear that even if you go to school every day, how much are you really learning, consuming, keeping with you for, you know, kind of like years to come? Is it preparing for you for college? Yeah, in a sense, because it's a lot about study skills, creating good habits, staying on task, like all that's gonna prepare you for college. We did make the rule here in our house that Chase is gonna be up by 10 a.m. every day. Get going with school, get some work in during the daytime. Then he has to go to wrestling practice and then um, you know finish up more homework and assignments and stuff later in the evening. I don't care how late he stays up, that's his own problem, but he's still waking up at 10 a.m. every day. So tomorrow, being Tuesday, our trainer comes at 10.30. He actually is going to probably work out with us tomorrow. So I think that's, I don't know, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to respond to some of them or if it's like a you know big ordeal, we can address it in a further video. But yeah, I think it's good that they gave these kids kind of like a choice of what option they wanted to take. They're gonna have to commit to it for second semester. And um, I don't really think either one of them is the right or wrong answer. I think it's just kind of specific, like, for each teenager, what's going to work best for them. So that's our back to school, first day of school. <laughs> it just seems weird, so weird. The kids have not been back to school for, what, 10 months, something like that? When did we first closed down I think it was March so maybe actually 11 months so it seemed really weird um Carly getting up and leaving it was like still dark out this morning I got up this morning with her just because it was her first day we barely said two words to each other but I just still felt like I gotta get up it's our first day back to school 
So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make it a great day. Bye.